Hello and welcome back to Panda Inc. and subsequently Software Inc. Where we last left off, we finally finished Panda AV3, which is amazing. It's doing pretty well, selling about 7,000 units per month. I'm going to move that to the top and make sure we continuously updating this software. But we still are marketing Panda AV2. Let's just have a quick look at how that's going. Panda AV2. Last month was still doing 103,000 in sales, so I'm not too sad about the fact that we're still marketing that. We should probably make sure the budget is set nicely. It is 600 bucks. And our budget for Panda AV3 currently is unlimited. I think we'd like to limit that a little bit, maybe say $20,000 a month should be good. And quickly before we get too far into things, I wanted to address the polls that I've been hosting on my YouTube community page. Basically, the problem that we have right now is that we can't raise our business reputation in impossible mode because deals and contracts are disabled by default. That means if we ever want to get into digital distribution, as far as I know, no one will sign up to this. I tested it about a week, maybe two weeks ago, and no one signs up unless you've got some business reputation. So they did, however, fix the fact that you could not hire lead designers because these guys used to require you to have a business reputation. In impossible mode, that is now changed so that we can hire them. But that being said, we want to be able to increase our business reputation. I think it just adds a lot to the game to be able to have this ticking up slowly. So what I've decided is we are going to enable deals. So we'll go ahead and do that. Go into options, change our difficulty, and we will enable deals. We won't do any of the others, even though contracts are the best way to do it and the quickest way. We don't want to do that. We want to make this hard. So we're going to enable deals, but we're only going to take deals that manufacturing, just because I've never really done it before. I did just a little test just before and it seemed pretty good. A little bit tricky to set up, but quite interesting. We are going to turn on printing just because manufacturing on its own does not give us anywhere or near enough. I ran the game to about 1995, just with manufacturing turned on. I got about four deals in total and I couldn't even see the change in my business rep. So we're also gonna turn on printing and we'll turn on hosting. We probably won't get any deals for that reasonably soon, just because it is 1985 and hosting isn't really a big thing yet. But later on, we should get some deals for that. And that's gonna be the plan moving forward. Next up, our, our plan is to pivot a little bit, right? Here's the other thing. I want to redesign this office and I want to move to the city. Thing is, we don't quite have the money to facilitate building a giant office building just yet. So I'm thinking we're just going to expand this one last time. Expand this room here. We might even redesign the entire thing just because this layout is a little bit strange. We'll expand this so that we can have some more people. I would like at least three marketers on that team. I'd like a separate support team and a separate accounting team. And then from there, I also want to have room for another development team that can handle our 2D editor that I want to start. So that's the plan. I think to start off with, we're just going to jump straight into build mode. Basically delete everything. We'll save our little award that we've got. I think we just had the one. And then we will just do this. And we have 1.8 million to work with. If we need a little bit more, we do have $4.3 million worth of stocks. But having a look at those stocks, I had a little bit of a look at this before I got started with this recording. If we have a look at One Poor Industries, they are developing Tiger Flash. And ThiveNet is developing Door OS, which are two of the reasonably large OSs. If we go into our calendar here when we look at computer os's you can see that tiger flash 2 is coming out at the end of next year so in about a year's time and then ThiveNet is coming out with door os 2 a year later so i want to hold on to them at least until those come out if they flop they flop but i think that's going to be good money for us so i wouldn't like to go over 1.8 for our build that's the plan and then once we build up a little bit more money, maybe just to say 3 million or so, we can actually start looking at getting in some manufacturing. I'm going to put in a receptionist 
just immediately so that we can have a look if a deal comes in that's worth building out a manufacturing depot for we can do that but that is the plan for now so we're going to jump into a little time lapse actually before we jump into the time lapse i do just want to say i'm going to buy let's buy this one because it's not eight hundred thousand dollars this one is four hundred and twenty two thousand dollars and that should be enough room to get us started with this the other option is we could sell this and move to just a bigger plot in general but I don't see any that I really want to take that are just a nice size. So we'll we'll leave it there. We can maybe do our building in this little area here. So we have these two areas to work with and we are going to jump into a quick little time lapse of our new office building. And with that, I think you guys deserve a quick little tour. So I probably sped through a lot of that because that took me about an hour to build. I probably could have been more detailed in certain places and I probably went a little bit overboard in certain places, but that's fine. We still have $600,000 left. Um, so the thing is, this is super temporary. <laughs> we might save some of these as blueprints and use them in our next build, but this is super duper temporary. I also want to build another section at this side so we can have a 2D team in there. But for now, that's about as much building as I can handle. <laughs> Let's go for a quick little tour. We step into our reception area. We have these nice little bench seats. I'm not 100% sure that guests will actually use these, but we're going to find out. And then we go through straight into our meeting room, which is delicious. I don't actually know if Chubby Panda has the ability to hold meetings. We probably should have checked that first, but if he does, they'll be able to use it. Otherwise, it just kind of looks cool. Then we have our little accounting team going to live in this little part here. And we just have a little bit of a utility room out here. I'm hoping that this doesn't make too much noise. The accounting team gets a little bit annoyed, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we also have these nice little paintings I just want to point out. These are little painting packs that I downloaded from the workshop. All of the links, oh, not the links, the, the names of the 
packs that I've got in the description if you are curious. Then we have a nice little canteen. I decided to go with half the seats on these tables because it just looked a little bit ridiculous. We have four mini fridges in this nice little shelving unit, which is always nice. Then we have our support team. I doubt we're going to have five people to start with, but I wanted the room in case we needed it. And then our biggest room, which I think turned out quite nice actually, is for our antivirus team. We've got enough room for 10 people, so I'm thinking we have three marketers along the back, and then we fill out the rest with devs. And then of course, Chubby Panda's office with his nice little bike because he refuses to take the, uh, he refuses to use cars. So that's why I gave him the little bike there. And our little bathrooms, which hopefully is enough. Our hallway is pretty underwhelming. It's not decorated at all, but that's okay. I'm sure they will manage just fine. Let's go back into the game and I would like to start hiring to fill out these teams a little bit. So we have the accounting support and antivirus teams. First up, I wanna start hiring our accounting team. That should be fairly straightforward. They probably don't even need a leader to be honest, but we'll see how we go. If we're accounting, we only need them to be a medium salary level. That means they can optimize our taxes, but they won't be able to manage offshore accounts, which we're not planning on doing right now anyway. And we will leave it at that. I'm not going to choose a secondary role of leader because chances are we might get one anyway. So let's just have a quick look. We will filter by compatibility with the antivirus team just to make sure they're good people. Uh, but we will hire them for the accounting team. All of them had great compatibility anyway, so that's not a big deal. And let's just go through and see if we have anyone who wants to be a leader. HR, automation, and socialization. I prefer some multitasking in there. It looks like we might go with Alva Watkins as our team lead. Actually, was it Alva? No, it was this person. I actually have better leadership skill anyway, and one in each, so we can sort of tailor that however we like. So that is Darius is our lead there. And then we'll just grab basically the two highest skilled people in this list to work under him. So that's our accounting team set up. Come in here, make sure that these are all good to go. We'll set them at April and nine months for the accounting team. They can do as many tasks as they want. They'll be eight to four, actually. Let's go eight to five. No, eight to four is fine. And that is fine, we'll manage roles. Turn everything off except service and put leader on Darius. That will be fine. For our support team, I'm thinking we only maybe need two people to start with. That, that might even be a little bit overkill, but we're gonna put them as backup. Um, have them as backup programmers. So if they don't have any supporting to do, they can help working on programming. And again, we're just gonna go for medium on that one. See what we get. They've all got great compatibility, which is perfect. Go to support. See if we have any team leads in here. Just the one, and they can also do programming. So you are our leader. And we'll see who has the best programming skill. Probably Lane you are going to be in there as well. Come to think of it, we might actually have, yeah, we do probably have someone in this team who can move. So if we come in here, sort by this, and we go to service. Yeah, this person here can go to our support team as well. Change team to support. So we'll have three in our support team, but they will be helping with the antivirus and anything else that needs help with. So that'll be fine. And change, I'll do that in the team screen. And then I also want to hire some people for our antivirus team. So currently we have two programmers and one designer. And we also have one marketing person. I'll start off by hiring another two marketing people. I think that'll be fine. We go to marketing. Secondary role can be programmer is probably the most useful because if we're in the design stage, we're probably still pretty heavily marketing the previous release. So we'll go ahead and look for that. Someone who can do a bit of everything is all right, but two stars is better. 
We'll go for Mason May. And you are probably pretty good too. Janet. So that's three marketing people. They came in here. Secondary on programming. That's fine. Now I would like to hire maybe two more programmers and one more designer. So we go programmer, secondary role can be designer so that they can at least help in that process. And I probably should have picked which I, things I wanted them to be good at, but I think this will be fine. You can hire you as a programmer. And let's see. And Son Clark as a programmer. And then we'll come back out and do one more person is going to be a designer and then a programmer and we'll make sure that we actually put this in this time and we'll get some network in there as well and this person can do a little bit of art too which isn't bad they can't really design network stuff though maybe we go for joanne instead that should do that nicely manage our roles basically anyone with four ticks needs to be removed and we can put them back on what we want them to actually do. So you are our designer and is that it? Four programmers, three designers. No, this person didn't change either. So four programmers, two designers, one artist, which is me, and then three marketing people. I think that will pretty much sort us out for that. In terms of our support team, I only want them doing one thing at a time because that makes them far more productive. We'll set their vacations for any time of the year. That's absolutely fine. And our accounting is that's perfect. We'll just quickly check in this screen here. Our antivirus team is working for a little bit longer than everyone else, but that's fine. In terms of vacations, I like to offset these a little bit. So you can see these ones start in January. These ones start in April. So these ones can start in July and that'll be fine and then we'll start someone in October as well I find that they typically take their vacation at the start which is why I like to stagger them a little bit but yeah that is the plan and hopefully I've thought of everything here and nothing goes terribly terribly wrong all our rooms should be set up correctly the only thing we need to do is assign some furniture so these people are oh, service was that? Unassign it. We'll do that again. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the. I'll use the computers. So, first service person there, second service person there, and third service person there. And everyone else can just sit wherever they want. It'll be fine. All right. Did I set up team leads for support? No, I did not. So these guys can do programming, they can't do design, they can't do art, and this person is our leader, but everyone should be doing service there. And as for accounting, everything's set up fine there. We just need to set them to actually do our accounting. And that should be pretty good. If we, oh, actually, no, that is not all good. We need to manage some stuff. So I'm gonna hire a cleaner, maintenance, and IT person. They can all come in at 7 a.m and leave when they're finished. Hire a receptionist to come in at eight and we need some security as well. So eight, wrong one, eight till four, four till 12, 12 till eight. That should pretty much cover us all the way around. We do have two security desks, but that was just so that we had some, what's the words called? Symmetry is the word I'm looking for. Let's run this and just see how this day goes. See how many people we have idle. Yeah, let's just have a look. We have seven people idle right now. That's mostly the antivirus team because we aren't developing anything. We should probably get working on our next release, which I actually want to project manage. So let's, let's do that. I will set up project management and we're going to change the name to Panda Guard. This is going to be a new IP. Chubby Panda is going to be our lead. Design, development, and secondary dev team is our support team. Support.
support is our support team. Pre-marketing and post-marketing is antivirus. Update is antivirus. SCM is, oh, I need to rename my servers. This is our SCM server. And this is our live server. So SCM goes on SCM. Prototype software is none. Server is live. And we'll set this to about maybe 180. Give them an iteration every three months. Some of this stuff I can't do yet, but Chubby Panda does actually have some uh, some learning to do. So we'll send him off tomorrow to do that. Educate him in automation up to three stars. Does that mean we can change stuff in this yet? No, he actually has to do that training first. That's fine. We'll leave that until tomorrow. We'll let everyone be idle today. Actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. I changed my mind. Develop software. We want this to be PandaGuard. I feel like that's a good name for a antivirus software. Uh, original IP. We'll go for a new framework. And guard framework. Check out which operating systems. These three seem to be the best. Analyze our market. I always like to put these two in because they add so much. And then anything that adds some active protection. Actually, did we analyze this? Yes, we did. Active protection and monitoring is basically what we want. Oh, active protection and passive protection, rather. We can't do networking just yet. So that's going to have to do. We do have a little bit of wasted interest. We'll auto balance 100% with 18% wasted. It's recommending more designers and programmers than we have, but I think that's fine. The design and development teams are antivirus, and we'll send this to project management once we choose a 2D editor, that is. Highest level, we'll go for this one here, which is great and visionary, 1982 tech level. And then we'll send that to project management on Pandaguard. That should work, I believe. Yeah, Pandaguard is queued. And let's see how that goes. That means everyone should be way less idle now. The antivirus team is still a little bit, but that's just because this hasn't updated. Now we're designing. We only have two idle people, and that is our support team. Because our support team can't do design, which is fine. That is just what it is. So, Chubby Panda should now go on leave to do his training which is fine we have new furniture that is a new set of mods that i downloaded <laughs> you might have seen some of them featured in this build and we should start seeing people coming in there we go marketing went off really quickly which is perfect uh so a visitor looking to strike a deal with our company went home due to the condition of my way i can only imagine that's because these benches don't work so we're going to build mode. Let's just have a look at these benches. Uh, they should work. I don't know what the problem with my waiting room would be. They should work just fine. Let's go back into play mode and see if that happens again. No, that is still happening. So let's get rid of these. Actually, we probably don't even need to get rid of them. We can just straight up replace them with catches or what catches i'm gonna go with catches that's probably not ideal but it's facing the wrong way make them nice black catches and hopefully that should work better we've got a 25 percent mood bonus in this room so i don't see why they would have a problem with it have a look hopefully that doesn't happen again most of the people are working, it's still just the support team that has nothing to do because this really doesn't have that much support on it. We can probably give this a quick update too, it doesn't need any. I think this was a pretty good software to be honest, it really came with almost no bugs. The unfortunate thing now is we can't skip through the night because we do have a security guard constantly on our staff, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, we can still script, just not very much. 
And we also do need to consider building parking at some point soon as well. I also never actually looked at our building as a whole. It's a little bit weird with no roof, but that is what it is. It's a temporary little, little area that we're gonna live in, so that's fine. <laughs> Let's see, this still doesn't have any updates. We're still getting decent sales. And we finally had two deals come in. Let's have a look. We've just got print jobs at the moment. I would like to set our printing, manufacturing, hosting up, or maybe not hosting because we still don't have the largest servers next episode. But now that I've seen that this is all working good and dandy, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I had fun with the build. It was a little bit tedious. Building in this game is fairly repetitive just because you're building a ton of desks everywhere. And I like to make them a little bit unique. Canteen seems to be working quite nicely. I don't know what the problem is with our waiting room. If anyone can tell me what the problem is with this room in the comments below too, that would be fantastic because I honestly don't see a problem with it. Is it because we don't have like bookshelves or anything? Or is our receptionist just terrible at their job? <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. We actually did hire a receptionist, right? Yeah, we did. So yeah, I'm not sure what the problem is with that. So if you guys could let me know if you know the answer to that question, that would be fantastic. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, please do remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment for the sake of engagement. It really helps out. And until next time, happy building and happy developing. <laughs>